Hi friends, glad to see you on my channel. Here I'm talking about the latest and high profile show business news. I will be very pleased if you subscribe to my channel. I know she's desired desperately. Shirley Eichard, a prolific singer songwriter best known for penning Bonnie Raitt's Grammy winning 1991 single. Something to talk about. Died in Ontario on December 15 due to complications from cancer, the Associated Press reported. She was 67. Eichard, who was inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2020, wrote for a number of high-profile musicians throughout her career, including Raitt, Cher, and Anne Murray. A stellar artist in her own right, Eichard won two back-to-back -back Juno Awards for Country Female Artist of the Year, in 1973 and 1974 and released 18 albums throughout her career, her most recent being 2021's Anything Is Possible. Eichard died Thursday at Headwaters Healthcare Center in Orangeville, Ontario, due to complications from cancer, said publicist Eric Alper. The first song that uh, I ever had recorded was by Anne Murray. Uh, she heard the song because of Sing Along Jubilee. Manny Pitson, who was the producer at that time and director, I believe, um, he was he had her over for uh, Christmas holidays, and he had said, "Anne, you know, I want you to hear this new singer songwriter we found, uh, and her name's Shirley Eichard, and would you like to hear the tape?" And Anne went, "Yeah," and she was recording her album right at that very moment. She heard it takes time, and apparently two days later, she went and recorded it. And the next thing I know, I get a call from Capitol. Uh, up in uh, Ontario, and they said, um, could you come in? <laughs> we have something to play for you. She needs to know she's desired desperately. Emily Harris, Rita Coolidge, um, Sylvia Tyson, uh, and I have written some songs together, that, which she has recorded. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Alana Miles, who did Black Velvet. She's done a, a song that was in a rock mode that I did. And obviously the, the most, um, I guess, uh, well-known one is the Bonnie Raitt song, Something to Talk About. just a natural progression to go into music because my parents were musical and so just as for fun you know as a hobby I'd pick up instruments and start learning them early and I got a guitar when I was 11 and uh, then I fell in love with folk music with Ian and Sylvia, Joni Mitchell, Gordon Lightfoot and so because I loved what they did and I loved the whole these were people that were writing their own songs in most cases um, I, there was that one that want to emulate them so that's when I started writing songs around 12 and 13 my first I'd say big splash uh, professionally was here in Halifax. Uh, I started as a semi-regular on Sing Along Jubilee and I was on around the same time as Anne Murray, Catherine McKinnon was, I think had left the show at that point, but uh, Anne was on, uh, Trish McKinnon was on the show at that time, Ken DeBias, and uh, it was a great um, learning opportunity for me.